Hi, welcome back to Raffles Tips. This week I've got sweetened condensed milk, bananas, and with the King's Coronation coming up, it's time to make a classic British dessert, which is the Noffy Pie. Let's roll. To get the ball rolling, take 225 grams of digestives, or 15.3 actual biscuits, and 150 grams of melted, <coughs> melted, that's more like it, butter, you're going to put the biscuit into a bash proof bag and smash them out until they're nice and crumbly and then drizzle in your butter and that's it. That's the biscuit base. Then just pack it straight into your favourite pie dish. I'm using 30 by 12 or you can use a circular 23 centimetres. And of course make sure to use a glass or a mug sprayed with baking spray just to really press it in and make sure it's nice and compacted. The next step is to slice up your three medium-sized bananas into coins or medallions, and this is when you can benefit from your new favourite fast motion yet. For the homemade dulce de leche, it literally couldn't be easier. You pick up a can of sweetened condensed milk, this is a 400 gram one, take off the label and put it in boiling water, gently simmering for about two to four hours or so. And that's it. Okay, so now it's time to take our sweetened condensed milk out of the boiling water, very, very carefully, responsibly. I'm a trained professional. Try not to smash on anyone. And hopefully, this is now a lovely dulce de leche. Let's see if it actually works. So the moment of truth, has this actually turned into lovely dulce de leche? Let's see. So I took my can out after about 90 minutes, but if you leave it in for the full three to four hours, this is what it should look like. Either way, we're going to pour on our Dulce de Leche onto our biscuit base, and then shingle on a nice layer of our bananas, getting your friends to help you where needed. And then it goes into the fridge for at least half an hour. You really need to let it chill, solidify, and firm up before you're ready to stoop on the whipped cream next. And speaking of whipped cream, just in case anyone didn't know how to make it, it's 300 ml of whipping cream, a tablespoon of sugar, and a nice dash of vanilla extract with some flavour, and then mix it together with your hand beaters until it, well, resembles whipped cream. Now we add on the whipped cream onto our banoffee pie base, making sure to do some elaborate swooshes for some extra creative flair. I mean, you gotta make it pretty for the YouTube thumbnail, right? So to finish off this masterpiece, we're going to shingle our remaining bananas in the shape of the letter R for Raffles, or for Rex, since of course King Charles is getting coronated this week. And then with a square of chocolate, you're going to grate it on top for a bit more flair and another bit of chocolatey flavour. Now there's nothing left to do but hack off a nice big square, plate it up and see how it tastes. So most importantly, how, do, how does it actually taste? Let's see. That tastes like a damn good banoffee pie. Royally good. <laughs> See you next week.